If so, we'll close that uh, <clears throat> session and we'll move on to our action items for the evening. I'd like a motion for items A1 through A3. So moved. This is Clipper and <coughs> Shaw. Is there any discussion on those items? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And abstentions? I'm going to do item A4. And I'll ask Mrs. Zambicki to please come forward. Whereas the public schools are <laughs> public schools are the backbone of our democracy, providing young people with the tools they need to maintain our nation's precious values of freedom, civility, and equality. And whereas by equipping young equipped Americans with both practical skills and broader intellectual abilities, schools give them the hope for, the access to, a productive future. And whereas public education employees be the administra administrators, teachers, health or student service workers, librarians, custodians, bus drivers, clerical workers, food service professionals, skilled trade workers, security guards, technical employees, or substitutes work tirelessly to serve our children and our community with care and professionalism. And whereas both schools encourage community, bringing together adults and children, educators and volunteers, business leaders, and elected officials in a common purpose. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education proclaims November 16th through the 20th, 2015, as the 94th Annual Observance of the American Education Week. So moved. Second. Becker, Mrs. Howard. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And abstentions? Have to present to you. <laughs> now is echoey a word? I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> okay. I'd like a motion for item. B1, acceptance of report of confirmed harassment, limitation, and bullying incidents for the period of October 9th through 22nd of 2015. So moved. This is Shaw, this is Howard. Is there any discussion? We have a roll call. Mrs. Becker. Yes. Mrs. Howard. Yes. Mrs. Lax. Yes. Mr. McAvoy. Yes. Mr. Filipchuk. Yes. Mrs. Shaw. Yes. Mr. Simmons. Yes. President Cohen. Yes. Are there any items on B2 through B11 that need to be separated? Otherwise, I'd like a motion for items B2 through 11. So moved. Second. Mrs. Becker, Mrs. Shaw? Okay. Is there any discussion? Mr. McAvoy. Uh, Mr. Figueroa, would you respond to uh, this uh, comment um, on B2? Um, just uh, would you give the community a quick review of um, not everything that I see in the agenda with regard to uh, fire drills and security drills, but I know that we have a very comprehensive plan to provide safety for all of the students from preschool through grades 12. And uh, I think that we need a uh, comment on that every once in a while. Sure. Uh, well, with regards to fire drills, every school must do at least one fire drill per month. Each school also does at least one security or safety drill per month. They range from evacuation drills, lockdown drills, shelter in place drills, or tabletop drills. Uh, tabletop drills are when the main people who are in charge of certain areas of the building or certain safety features get together and work out what could be a scenario that may occur in a safety or security situation. Uh, they do each one of those drills uh, throughout the year, uh, rotating those drills, and we always have someone there uh, to watch what's happening and to give feedback afterwards. Great, thank you. Mrs. Becker? Um, I was wondering, Mrs. Gulick, if you wouldn't mind speaking very briefly on B11, which is the approval to participate in the seal of biliteracy in New Jersey 
and just uh, more so than the board, let the, the public know what this is, because it's kind of exciting. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> The state of New Jersey is considering a pilot program which we, with your approval, intend to participate in. It's a great opportunity for our students. It will recognize our students for their biliteracy. So in our particular case, we have uh, most of our students will be able to earn this in the world language that they study um, because we've done such a great job of aligning our curriculum with proficiency levels that we know our students will uh, perform at this level by graduation. So through their AP scores or some other tests, they'll be able to do that. But in addition, those native speakers that we have in our schools who continue to practice their languages at home will be able to start opening up the opportunity to demonstrate proficiency in those languages by taking some other uh, tests that are going to be available, and that will be available for the class of 2017. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Any questions? I have a question on a different item. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, the question I have is regarding B7, mm -hmm. non-public security aid, and it will be administered by the Ed Services Commission. Um, anyway, I'm wondering what services we are responsible to provide to, I mean, assuming these are services we must provide to non-public schools within East Brunswick. Is that correct? Mr. Crossville. Yeah, um, as you'll recall, there's been various items on the agenda for non-public, for technology and nursing. Mm -hmm. This follows suit where a flow through to the non-publics, uh, they receive aid for various things. Now this is a new one for security. Um, Middlesex Regional is going to handle these services just like the other ones that we have. Uh, there's a process to purchase items to enhance their security. and So the actual purchases will go through uh, Ed <coughs> Services Commission or they will actually filter through to our board here? They will, the non-public will purchase the items but uh -huh. we have to approve them just like the technology purchases. Right. Okay. So, um, I won't make a personal comment or opinion on okay. this whole process. No, that's but fine. It, it, is, it is a burden on the public school districts to maintain this accountability right. for the non-publics, but it is a statute, statutory requirement. And Ms. Shaw, this is a new requirement this year. Okay. This is in addition to the normal. <coughs> yeah, I didn't as, remember as Mr. Us no, considering no, this in the past. Um, is there a particular cost to us <coughs> to have Ed Services Commission administer this program for us? There's a 6% uh, administrative fee. Um, luckily, the, the amount of non-public aid is very small for this grant, but um, they do it just a lot more efficient. It would cost us a lot more to meet with okay. each non-public and, and go through the process. So. Yeah, it sounds like it would be. Okay, thank you very much. Mr. McAvoy. Going through the, uh, the the bees, when I received uh, my shared document, this uh, this uh, for, in preparation for this particular board meeting, I, I found it uh, extremely comprehensive, Dr. Valeski, and I found it uh, enlightening to know that uh, there were so many positive things going on under the leadership of uh, you and your central administration, from placement of students through. Um, uh, I think Mrs. Gulick's staff development program, uh, the, uh, the progressive uh, curriculum development of the literacy program at Hammershaw Middle School. I uh, was pleased to see again the, uh, the different artists in residence drama program, uh, the shared services that uh, Mrs. Uh, Shaw just referred to. I was going to ask the same question, but uh, um, the workshops for counselors and student assistance specialists that I'm sure Mr. Figueroa had a big hand in doing, and uh, and then the big one right at the at the end of the bees, the the bioliteracy program to uh, demonstrate proficiency in one or two languages. I, I find that uh, when when we do those type, when we create those when you create those types of programs. And, and, and we okay those types of programs that are not mandated by the state, that do not have tests, 
like the park exam, we can uh, that quantify whether the, the student knows it or not. It's, it, it's soothing to know that uh, moving in the direction that I find progressive to allow for uh, two or three languages to be, t to be taught, so uh, to be learned and to be used. And so uh, again, my, my congratulations to yourself, uh, people such as Mrs. Gulick and Mr. Figueroa. I'm sure Mrs. Olishkevich had a lot to do with some of the special ed programs that I see in all, in all the Bs. Sometimes we come up here for a board meeting and we combine uh, a lot of items, but the community uh, must understand that each one of my fellow board members uh, we go through this material, we, the, the phones are open, the, uh, the emails are open that we can ask questions of the administrators so that uh, everything is on the positive, and this surely is positive. Thank you, Dr. Cohen. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McAvoy. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed or abstentions? Operation <coughs> items, I have a motion for items C1 through C9. Second. Mrs. Shaw. Is there any discussion on any one of those items? Mrs. Shaw. Uh, C9, the digital video surveillance. Um, hang on one sec. Make that five seconds. Okay, my question is, uh, do we have a monetary figure for the total cost of this program? Um, I do not believe we have a final cost for this. This will be dependent on budgetary constraints, Mr. Shaw. This is, this is simply to manage, monitor, improve, upgrade um, our video surveillance systems throughout right. the district. Um, I, I guess, you know, I became concerned because uh, the hourly fees are, you know, fairly high and without knowing an approximate number of hours that might be required in order to do these things, I just think it's difficult for us to, you know, pass judgment on whether uh, this is the right company to go with or whether we're doing all the things we really need to be doing. Um, I'll let Mr. Crotchfeld re okay. reply to that piece of it. I think that uh, from my perspective, uh, the company has demonstrated their reliability uh, in the efficiency um, by which they perform their business. Um, but I, you know, for the sake of the board and for the public, uh, we do present to the board for your approval um, the, the amount that we intend to spend on a particular uh, project, and that would be the, the hours that we're talking about here would be inclusive of the cost of that project. And well, just, just is that, but there was a fee that was attached to the year before, so could we surmise that what you paid in total last year would be indicative of what you No, be we're, we're, we're substantially improving the work that we're doing right. this year. Mr. Crotchfield, do you want to? Yeah, Which, you know, I do want to mention is certainly, yeah. you know, uh, a priority, right. you know, of the board, and I think we all agree on that. Right. I just, you know, I don't know whether I like voting for things that are kind of open-ended like that. Yeah. Just two things to note that this is actually um, a renewal of a request for proposal, which is an open competitive process. Mm -hmm. So last year we received proposals and reviewed them, and uh, you know, the board uh, we recommended this uh, vendor, and the board approved it. So the prices were competitive and in line with the, the marketplace. Um, and, you know, it, it, the hourly rates are presented, but it's project by project. So we couldn't go back to last year and say, oh, well, we spent sure. $10,000 and this year we should spend 10000 It depends how many projects are, are in line and, you know, the development of those projects. Okay. No other questions? Okay. And I um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> or abstentions? <coughs> we'll take our D items, uh, items D1 through 9. Can I have a motion for so Second. Mr. So Philip Jack, Mrs. Becker. Any questions or comments on any of those items? Then we'll need a roll call. Yes. Mrs. Becker? Yes. 
Mrs. Howard. Yes. Mrs. Lax. Yes. Mr. McElroy. Yes. Mr. Philipchuk. Yes. Mrs. Shaw. Yes. Mr. Simmons. Yes. President Cohen. Yes. Personnel items. Can I have a motion for items E1, 2, and 3? Mrs. Second. And Mrs. Shaw. Is there any discussion on any one of those items? We'll also take a roll call. Mrs. Becker. Yes. Mrs. Howard. Yes. Mrs. Lax. Yes. Mr. McElroy. Yes. Mr. Philipchuk. Yes. Mrs. Shaw. Yes. Mr. Simmons. Yes. President Cohen. Yes.